Hello everyone. Uh, so in today's video, we are going to advance a bit more on the implementation of our our of, of our application, which uh, our embedded application. Uh, last time, what we did was we created the basic logic or the basic idea of like what it what a detector is and how it runs. Um, as we remember, we were creating like very uh, dummy uh, objects here with like static uh, speed and uh, empty plate and everything. So today what we're going to do first is to configure our application because currently this is like not starting like when you run the application nothing happens, right? So first we are going to start to configure our equipment as, as, as you remember equipment may have a list of lanes and each lane has a detector. So we have to set up and say hey for example we, when I'm going to run this equipment here this equipment is going to have for example, um, I don't know, three, three lanes or two lanes, and this means that it's going to have two, three equipments as well. So we need to first configure this. Uh, in the future, this configuration is going to be done via um, uh, like a central server. So the central, it's going to make, basically make a call to the server and the server is going to, to give or to provide these configurations for this equipment. For now, what we are going to do, we are going to use the simple spring uh, properties. So I'm just going to use YAML instead. That's a preference, a personal preference. So let's just first change that here. Um, okay, so first thing we have to do is, uh, so I, I like to design first the, the structure of my properties, how it's going to look like. Um, so what I want to have is something like this. So detector, uh, or not detector, but let's say equipment. From the equipment, I'm going to have number of lanes which i'm going to say true i will also have the id of the equipment which i'm going to, should be an uuid so let me run a g shell here to generate a new uid random uuid that's it and i'm going to copy that here so the equipment must have let's 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 go and check right what a detection needs so detection has an UID which I'm going to generate. That's fine. It has the lane. The lane has the ID, which is going to be a, a order like a unique ID on, from zero to one, so a, a, a numeric one. Doesn't need to be unique like a UID overall all the equipments. And the equipment has the UUID. Let's also add a, a long latitude and longitude here, so we know the location of that. So let and long this okay so um, yeah and that's it so the equipment has the let's say one for now then we can do something like real later but just to make it work so ID letting lang uh, number of lanes and I think that's it so after we defined our properties let's create a class so we make the bind between the properties and the class itself and the object so i will create a class inside config i will call it a detector or equipment config so this is going to be a configuration and i'm also going to have enable configuration properties i will explain how this will work First, I will create a record uh, which will represent the properties that I'm going to that are, that are, that I have here, right? I need to make the bind. So I will say uh, equipment properties, which will have what it does: ID, letting link. So ID is a UID. Let and Longitude, letting long. I'm saying like length, uh, longitude, and latitude. Okay, so this is what we have for a, and we also have what else? We also have the number of lanes. So this is going to be an int. We don't expect to have this to have to be so uh, so high. Maybe two, three, maybe four. So that's it. After that, what we are going to do is we are going to have. Um, so we are going to have a. Uh, we did, we haven't created a. The equipment now we have the equipment so let's have it here the equipment creation so what equipment is going to have is so let's do a new return new equipment and equipment will have what let's see it has 
EUID long and let. It also should have the list of lanes, right? Oops, lane, lanes. That's it. So when I go through lane, I have equipment. I will remove this cyclic uh, dependency here. Just keep the lane here. And the lane instant and everything. And yeah, I think that's fine. And the detection has the lane. But the lane doesn't have the equipment. And you also have here the equipment. We can, we can we can improve that later, okay? If we need so. Okay, then I have the equipment. The equipment has the UID, so we get the UID from the property. How do we get the property first? So we enable configuration properties, and here we pass the class which we want to enable. So this equipment properties dot class. What we do here now is that I will inject the equipment properties. Equipment properties here. To right. And then I have properties.id. That's the first thing I get. The second thing is let long. Uh, let me, I don't know, like I also change in the, the, the order here. So I always say let long. So let's keep the let long. Um, so let long properties long. What else is the last one is the list of lanes, right? So from list of lanes, what we are going to do? We have here properties dot number of lanes. So let's create a uh, there's a in stream range from zero till number of lanes. Then we do a um, let me do it on another another. This is going to be a bit longer. Final var lanes. So we have the range. So for each range, for each number, let's go do a map to object. So we have the ID here. So starting from zero until the number of lanes, we are going to have the IDs, right? So we map it and we create a new lane here. So we turn new lane. And what the lane has is the ID. That's it. So we can like replace with Lambda here. So map to object. Then we have the lanes here. So here we have the lanes. What is the lane says? String, yeah, we need to do a to list. Then now I have the lanes. Uh, fine. So we have the equipment, we have the lanes. There's something which is missing, uh, which is, no, that's it. So we have the equipment, the equipment is created. What we also have to do now is to create the detectors itself, right? So detector is itself, think about it. We need to create, so detector is a, is a, is a component which will run and they will have the threads, the threads under the hood to do the work, to be, to be monitoring, to be using the camera and every detector itself. So we need to have a list, right? We need to have the, the same number of detectors which we need to have is, this, is equal, is it basically equals to the same number of uh, lanes we have. So what we are going to do is we are going to return to have here a list of uh detectors detectors detector so we call it detectors and what we are going to do is we are going to have a uh, return so list or let's do the following so we do again so this in stream mapped object but here instead what we're going to have is the id and uh, here we're going to, re to return a new fake detector, which has a lane. So um, what we are going to do, let me think about it. We have the lanes, the lanes, the lanes are already here in the equipment itself. So we can return it here. So we can receive it, the equipment as a, as a, a dependency, as a, um, like an argument, an argument for our method. Um, in fact, we don't even need to go through it again. We already have it, right? So we already have the lanes. So if we come here and say equipment.lanes, we already have the lane. So we do a map. So we have the lane itself. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new fake detector, which has the lane. We also have the logic. So let's say the logic is going to be, let's just print it out, detection, detection. And the last thing is executor service. 
So for now, uh, I will create oops, one executor service, a single executor service per uh, detector for now. Let's not bother much about that. And now we are going to retard. So one fancy thing which I noticed is when you do a two, a two list uh, here and I'm returning a fake detector, it's going to fail because the understanding of, of, the, of the, the compilation itself like does not make the, the understanding that hey fake detector is really a, a detector but the type is specifically a fake detector itself so it cannot return so for us to make that work we have to use the other which is the old uh, way of doing this so the collect uh, dot collectors collectors dot list dot to list because this will preserve the 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 usage of the the generics the generics here for us so yeah, let me also yeah, let me keep that. We change this some, anyways. So then we have the list of detectors here already. So that's it. Fine. So let's go now and let's run our application. So you see that nothing will really happen. So yeah, first because it's breaking, right? So the detection we change, and now we have the equipment itself inside. So what we need to do is, apart from receiving the lane, we also need to receive the equipment which we are running. Which this uh, detector is running on lane and the detector itself. No detector, the equipment. Uh, equipment. Let's change it to order and equipment dot equipment. Fine. So what we are going to do here is the detection uh, lane and equipment great so when we create the detector we also need to have the equipment so let's provide equipment here also we have to test to fix to fix our test because it's broken right now so let's just the equipment is already here let's just use it outside so we have a fine of our equipment which is equal to new equipment and then we provide the equipment here and also the equipment here uh, what exactly is going on equipment oh yeah there's that long let's say one and two UID and the list of lanes yeah. let's say final bar Lanes list of hmm. now we have a cyclic uh, dependency here. Let me think about it. Um, the lane, yeah, the lane doesn't need it, right? Yeah, sorry, I missed that. So let me do that here. It's fine. So I have the lane, we don't need this. Thank you anymore. So we have the here we have the lane. Let's get the first one. We know it. So that's our test. And here we also provide the lanes. So now let's run our application. See if it's running. It's breaking. Why? Let's check. It's breaking because 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 no configuration properties annotation for yeah we haven't configured our property. So let's go to our configuration here. Not this one. Yeah, this one here. So we haven't provided our uh, properties um, property configuration properties. And here, what we are going to do is the prefix. We say it's going to be equipment. So it's going to be binding properly. So equipment. Let's try to run it again. Now you see it, that it runs, but it doesn't start anything. So a uh, simple way for us to do it right now is uh, let's when we start the application, if you don't know, you, it basically returns the conf configurable application context. So let's take the context itself, so var context. And then here what we are going to do is context.getPin. Let's provide by name and we have detectors. This what's going to happen here is uh, detectors. So let's let's uh, yeah detectors. 
let's go uh, uh, casting here so we know the type of that is going to be a list of detector and then what we do is detectors dot for each for each detector you're going to start it okay let's start it right now and see now you see that our application is running fine okay so um, that's it for now. I think that the, the video is already is already kind of uh, long enough. Uh, so next next class, what I'm going to be doing, we are going to be changing the logic first to generate the detection itself and make the detection look more real. And we are also going to implement some tests for that. And also we're going to do some uh, change on this on this domain here because it's a bit a, a, a really a, like a bit confusing regarding the the usage of detection and the equipment itself, especially equipment in lane. And then the detector itself is not really clear. So we are going also we are also going to be doing some refactoring. But that's it. I hope you liked it. Uh, see you in the next class. Bye bye.